Good morning, guys. I woke up this morning and I have a fair few things to do today. And I thought, why don't I just pull out my phone, film little snippets of my day. That's what this is gonna be. So I hope that you enjoy. Welcome to Birdie Breakfast. What we did for meal prep is rice, peas, carrot, corn, chickpeas, and four bean mix. These are no added salt in either of them. They're certified organic. Parrots are a bit like children. They're very hard to please, but when you do finally find a healthy food that they actually enjoy, it is the best thing for them. He will smash those chickpeas one by one. Watch how he's like, he's shelling them. See, he gets it in his mouth. And then very quickly, he plops off the shelf. He makes such a mess when he eats, which is why I usually sit him over here on this little perch, which has a base on it. So that way, when he drops all of his little scraps, they fall down there. So I'm gonna leave Archie in here to eat his breakfast and I'm gonna go feed the chickens. I've talked about them on Instagram, but this is their debut on YouTube. <laughs> Every morning I come out and there's a couple of eggs waiting for me. And I've set up this little system with this makeshift ramp. I leave it like this and they let themselves out. Hey, little darling. Hey. Hi, gorgeous. I love you. I will post a video about the chickens so you guys can meet them. You can learn their names. You can watch me go pick them up on the day that I got them and you can watch them grow because I've had them for a couple of months now. So that'll be a video on its own. But for now, I have to race out the door because I'm actually going to get my hair done. I'm getting my roots redone. Look at this situation. I let it go for quite some time and I wasn't going to uh, redo the roots. So I was going to let it grow out, but I'm not quite done with dyeing my hair just yet. There are still a few more fun and crazy and concerning hair dye videos that I want to post before I go back to my natural color. So gonna go get the roots done now. Bye Archie. Bit more just to try and clean it up. Is, is it just there? Just that bit. Just there. that bit. Yeah. yeah. How much further do you think I can push my hair before it all falls out? This is it. This, this, this is, is it. This, this, this is, is it. Actually, it. <laughs> this is the last bleaching that I will ever have. <laughs> Guys, we're all done. I'm at Latouf in Rouse Hill and Kirsty did literally the best job on my hair that I think I have ever seen done. And I'm not joking. Come see Kirsty at Rouse Hill. If you want platinum hair, she is a perfectionist and she literally nailed it. I'm so happy. I can't thank you enough. Oh I'm, I'm coming so back, I'm coming back to see so you sorry. every time, literally every, every time. time. What's every your, time. what are your socials? You're on YouTube, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Kirsty Grace Beauty or Kirsty Grace. I will pop that in the link down below. Guys, go check her out. Wow! Oh, <laughs> look at your hair! Right? You look beautiful! Right. 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 Can you take a little video of Tanner? Yeah, it's it's recording for you. You quick slither at it. You quick slither at it. Holy shit! Alex! Why have you never done that to your hair before? Do you like it? Oh my god! It's shaking like a leaf. It's because they're fussy. You look so beautiful! Thank you. Thank you. Are we, we're going to miss the boat, but hey, at least yeah, I look nice. Really nice. <laughs> you can be, be standing running. on the dock, be like, don't I look great? <laughs> Alex, you could like murder me right now and I, I would thank you. I know. You look so pretty, Thanks Alex. to Lucy, Lucy. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You need to do your hair like this all the time. That's it. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Let's go. Run, 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 I'm actually shook. Bye, don't freeze to death on that boat. Yeah, I'm gonna blush everything. Thank you for picking it. I love you. I would not yeah, have chosen it. Good choice. I'm sorry. Oh, Millie! Oh, I love you. Alright, let's open the ute. Let's go. Get in the ute. All class. Get in the ute, love. Get in the ute. Hop on. Put her in the trailer. By the way, everything's thrifted. The dress. What? 
This is thrifted. Woo! Run! 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 You look great. Thank you. You look stunning. Thank you. Okay, I'm back and things are different. I'm platinum and I have new glasses and I'm also very short on cash. That cost me $700. Actually, to be precise, I, I came with my receipts, $762. Look, can I just say, those of you that have been watching me for a little while now, you may remember that in January last year, that was the first time that I've ever done anything to my hair. It was like my first haircut in 12 years or whatever it was, I don't remember. First time I've ever bleached it, first time I've ever colored it, and I got it done for free at a hair salon in Japan. Every time I've dyed my hair since then, I've just used very cheap products, you know, things that cost $20 for a tube, that sort of thing. Multiple times in the past year, I have paid hairdressers to do stuff to my hair, and I've always been somewhat disappointed. It's never been quite what I wanted, and each of those times it was a couple hundred bucks, and I wasn't entirely happy. The fact that the most expensive thing I've done to my hair is the one that I'm the happiest with says a lot as far as you get what you pay for. But speaking of what I paid for, so it was scalp bleach, $150. Scalp bleach extra, $100. Olaplex, $100. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh. Shampoo cut style long, $99. And then a bunch of products that I let her talk me into buying. So it looks like the cost of the actual hair bleaching part was about $400. She used these products on my hair and my hair feels fantastic. It feels so much better. And like, especially considering how much my hair has been through, it's been through a hell of a lot. So I let her talk me into buying it. I actually uh, went on my Instagram story and I said, the hairdressers trying to convince me to buy this product. Do you think I should or not? And I got a lot of, you know, responses and there was a lot of responses saying, no, don't get it. But then there was an equal amount of responses saying, definitely do get it. Actually, I think there were more people saying to get it than to not get it. So I decided to give it a try. So the first thing that she recommended was this. This is Kerastase. It says balm in shampoo, fiber quality renewal care for very damaged, overprocessed hair. Erosion level three to four, erosion level. <laughs> being eroded away at by ocean waves for thousands of years. Sounds about right. So I believe that you use this shampoo like a normal shampoo, except you leave it in your hair a bit longer than you would normally leave a shampoo in. So then she also recommended this. This is to replace my conditioner. I'm currently using Function of Beauty still. You know, I did a sponsorship ages ago for Function of Beauty and I'm still using the product. So I'll switch over to this. This is called Resistance Mask Therapist. She said to replace my conditioner with this one and you leave it in five minutes or so, five to 10 minutes and then wash it out. She wants me to use this every time that I use the shampoo. Like every time I wash my hair, shampoo and conditioning mask. She also recommended if I'm going to use any heat tools on my hair, this one is the Cement Thermique Blow Dry Milk for damaged hair. So whenever I go to blow dry my hair, apparently this is heat activated. So I have to put this one on before I blow dry. And then she didn't recommend this, but she sprayed this on my hair and it smelt like the most incredible thing I've ever smelled in my whole life. And I was like, what is that? She showed me and I said, I need it. I don't even know how much it cost me. I was just like, whatever it costs, I'll pay the price. It was $25, Make Me Shine Spray Gloss. And it says a lightweight anti humectant finishing spray to control flyaways and add shine. And boy, do I have a lot of flyaways. Like all of the damaged, broken, brittle ends where every time I brush my hair, it snaps off. Ooh, that was a knock on the door. That's Sam. Hi Sam! They wanted to take some photos at the salon of my hair because they were very, very proud of the job that they did. They sprayed this on my hair to help with the flyaways and also to give it a bit of gloss. And it literally smells like... Oh, I don't even know. It just smells like fairies. It smells what I would assume unicorn poo smells like. It's divine. She snipped a little bit off the ends. I didn't want her to and she's like, I have to. I have to. It was so like frizzy and damaged at the bottoms. So she said, you, you really got to take some off. Hi. <laughs> Get yourself a supportive friend like Sam. Do you yes. like it? Yes. yes. You, you like it? I love glass. Well, let me let me have a closer point. I gotta see. I gotta see. I gotta see. Hey everyone. Um, hi. I'll talk to you later. But now I gotta see this. What is what is what is what is what is. Oh wait! Whoa! 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 Why does it smell so good? This is the whitest. <laughs> Why does it smell good? Why? <laughs> what do you think of my hair? Whoa. That's so pretty. You like it? You did a really good job. <laughs> I took five hours at a hair salon. Five today. hours? Five hours. Five hours. Five hours. <laughs> <laughs> what do they do? Every single strand? Individually. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, I know. It's so light. And... It's, uh... <laughs> it's pretty... Oh, it's so soft. 
They look softer than my hair. I look like a Targaryen. I look more like Aegon Targaryen than Daenerys though. <laughs> Good thing you're an early child. Morning. It's been a few days now since uh, I had my hair bleached, platinum blonde, and I need to wash out the hairspray from the event that I went to. So this is going to be the first time that I'm using this shampoo and hair mask at home. Had it done at the hair salon and my hair feels, uh, it, yes, yes it does feel very, very nice. And I'll tell you what, I've been using this um, Make Me Shine spray every day as well. My hair's nowhere near as frizzy. I don't normally believe in products like that. I normally just think of it as like, oh, psh. they're trying to make money in any way that they can and they're just making products and it's just water in a spray can and it's not gonna do anything, but it, it really did actually. Um, see this picture here? That's my hair normally, you know, it goes frizzy like that and uh, yeah, it does look very, very smooth and it feels really nice too. I'm gonna give it a wash and I'm gonna be using these products. I don't know how long I should give this a try for. Maybe a month, maybe I'll record this process for a month. Not in this specific video because I want this video to go live within the next couple of days so you guys can see me going platinum blonde because if I just suddenly drop a video with this hair, people are gonna be like, what happened? I'm gonna be using these and I can do a video about it if you want me to. Or if you want me to switch products and do like a month long Olaplex thing instead, I will do that. But anyway, first time using this stuff at home, just want to give you guys my impressions and we're going to see what my hair actually looks like out of the shower when there's a bit of curl to it because at the moment I've only seen it straight from the salon with the blow drying and all of the product in it. So I'm interested to see what I look like on a normal day because I will not be bothering to style my hair daily. So who knows, could be one of those situations where you love it at the salon and then you go back to looking like yourself and you hate it. <laughs> but we're about to find out. You like it? What?
pushed that conditioner out, it was really bizarre because normally when I put conditioner on my hair and I start washing it out, it takes a little while for it to wash out and I can feel that the product is there sitting on my hair and I'm you know, washing it away. But I sort of put my head under the water and did this and then suddenly there was no product left in my hair. It was almost as though my hair had like soaked up all of the product in a way. Or maybe it just slid off so quickly that as soon as I put my head under the water, it just was gone. I don't know, but that was bizarre. That, both products were very bizarre and like nothing I've ever used before. But uh, on to the third one now. This is the Kerastase uh, heat protecting thing. So you're supposed to put it on towel dry hair. Uh, I never know how much product to use, but I would often say to myself, well, the more the better, but I don't know in these sort of situations, maybe you're supposed to just use one drop or something. Maybe you're not meant to use too much, but ooh. Oh, oh this smells really nice. There's definitely a big difference between product that you buy from the hair salon versus product you can buy you know, regularly. There is a jump in price, but there is probably a jump in quality. What do you guys think? If you were gonna splurge on hair products, like whether you got them from your hair salon or if you were gonna buy them online, what's a brand you'd be willing to splurge on? If there's any hair brands that you guys want me to try, I know you've been asking me about Olaplex for ages, but if there's any other brands, please leave them in the comments below because this is the year, 2021 is the year that I'm going to try and repair my hair a little bit. Please let me know down below, but uh, I'm gonna, blow dry my hair now. I've put this heat activated stuff in it. So that spread through my hair pretty easily. Seems to have coated it quite well actually. And also my hair was very easy to brush through just then. I have in the past had a terrible time trying to brush through my wet hair. It just catches and breaks and snaps. So that sort of thing. But that was actually very, very easy. So I'm noticing a difference straight away, but let's blow dry it and see how it turns out. Right, wow, <laughs> my hair is uh, very, 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 very puffy. Definitely doesn't feel as nice anymore as it did fresh from the salon, I'll tell you that much. I don't know how many various products that they put in my hair that day, but my hair felt fantastic then. And now it's gone to feeling quite... That's about the only description I have for it. Now they did use this on me. This is the Shine Gloss Spray that helps with the frizziness it says that it's a, a lightweight anti-humectant finishing spray to control flyaways and add shine. So my whole head right now is just one enormous flyaway. Oh, this smells so good. Now I have this interesting brush, guys. I got this in Japan and listen, vibrates. Something about the vibration is supposed to help with uh, static, I believe it was. I have this big box of uh, unusual hair gadgets that I'd like to show you guys at some point, but Let's run this through this side of my hair. Let's see if it makes a noticeable difference. What do you reckon? Hang on, wait. Do you think that's a noticeable difference? Or is it just brushed? No, I feel like, yeah, I feel like that sort of controlled some of the fuzziness. All right, so there we go. Looks very different to how it looked when I left the salon. It's got more puffiness to it. They flattened it out somehow that day. She didn't use a straightener on me. She just used the hairbrush and the blow dryer. So I guess that she was just maybe a bit more thorough with the blow drying in order to straighten it. But I don't have time for that. My hair definitely feels better, weirdly enough, now that it's been to the salon, it's got some good quality products on it. It feels a lot better and it's so much easier to brush through than it was when it was pink the other day. I haven't seen my hair with any curl in it yet though. I used to have lovely natural curls and obviously since I started bleaching it, all the life has been sucked out of my hair. But uh, if I put it in a bun like this and kind of twirl it up and leave it like this for a good couple of hours, when I take it out, it will have some curl to it. It'll sort of sit like that. So I'll show you what it looks like curly. All right, so I braided my hair overnight and I'm gonna take it out now. Uh, yesterday when I put it up in the bun, when I let it down, there was a uh, no curl. There normally would have been a curl, I think because it's uh, been bleached so much the curl is never gonna come back. It's kind of got a little, little bit of, no, not really, <laughs> you just brush it through. Well, hey, look, on the plus side, it is quite literally a dream to brush through. That's, I'm happy about that, but yeah, no curl. I feel like I'm gonna have to use a hair curler. And here it is curled. You know what they say, you always want what you can't have. And for as long as I can remember, 
I've always wanted to have blonde hair. Something about being born a ginger and being ruthlessly bullied in school may have driven me to want a more conventional hair colour, and now that I have it, I will indeed enjoy it while it lasts, but this does mark the official final time that I will be bleaching my hair. Like the hairdresser said, this is about the last time that I can put bleach on this head of hair without it completely falling out. And so from this point onwards, I'm only going to be playing around with a couple of other colors that I just wanna get out of my system. And once I've done those, I'll be going back to my natural red. Now, whether or not I'll be having a haircut, that's another question. See, um, I did actually uh, have a few too many drinks the other night and I kind of, decided I was going to give myself a haircut? Really not my smartest move. I did not do the best job cutting these little bits here. So I am going to have to see a hairdresser at some point who can fix my mistakes. But the length, that is yet to be decided. There is a huge part of me that really, really, really wants to have a bob. But then there's the part of me that draws comfort and security from having a long head of hair. I'm not decided on what I will look like when I reach my final form, but the most important thing to me is that I'm having fun along the way. <laughs> and I hope that you guys are too. This is the look that I have wanted for so many years. In fact, a little visit down memory lane shows that on Facebook, this is, I, I actually put this on Facebook and these were the actual comments. Um, anyway, when my Photoshop skills got a little bit better, I did this and boy, did I fool some people. I've wanted to go blonde for a very long time and now that I'm here, I'm very excited to go back to red. I look at myself in the mirror and I see a completely different person. And despite being fun, I really look forward to the comfort that I'm going to feel when I recognize myself again. If there's any products that you guys want me to try in my journey to perhaps salvaging what's left of my hair, please tell me in the comments down below. I really want to try Olaplex, and a lot of people have been asking me to review Brad Mondo's hairline as well. Leave your suggestions and recommendations in the comments down below, and with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this hair bleaching video, so please subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mwah!